In June of 1812, America declared war on Great Britain. This war lasted more than two years. In August of 1814, British troops attacked Washington, D.C. and burned the White House, Capitol Building, and Library of Congress. Baltimore, Maryland isn't far from our capital and became Britain's next target. Francis Scott Key was in Baltimore during the attack on the city. He watched the bombing from Fort McHenry, of Fort McHenry um, from a ship several miles offshore. After two days of intense battle, Key was relieved to see the broad stripes and bright stars of the American flag gallantly streaming over Fort McHenry. This inspired him to write the poem, Defense of Fort McHenry. France, Francis Scott Key's poem was printed in newspapers and later set to music. More than 100 years after Key wrote the poem, the Star Spangled Banner became our national anthem. <laughs> So proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. O'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in.
Stand Proud, Stand Tall by Ron Tranmer. The flag of our nation, a flag under God. To our flag we will always be true. Stand proud, stand tall with hand over heart as we honor the red, white, and blue. A banner for all who reside underneath its proud wave. Though battered and torn, shattered and worn, it flies over the home of the brave. Stand proud, stand tall with hand over heart with respect for this flag we so love. May this land always be strong and free and protected by God from above. We are a proud nation, one under God. It was he who gave us this land. Free we remain to praise his great name. Rise up and for God make a stand. Our flag has flown high over battlefields, covered caskets of daughters and sons. Great is the cost, through lives that are lost, we will gratefully remember each one. Stand proud, stand tall, with hand over heart, with respect for this flag that we love. May this land always be strong and free and protected by God from above. Bridge Choir will be performing America the Beautiful, words by Samuel Ward, arranged by John Kenyon. to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God and divisible, with liberty and justice for all. Because of the Brave by Ron Trammer. America the beautiful, home of the brave and free, a land that God our Father has given you and me. He knows that in our world, freedom always has its price and can easily be lost without fight and sacrifice. So with the love of country, our bravest gifts are all, many even life itself, we are grateful to them all. Army, Navy, National Guard, Air Force and Marines, present and past, all have made our bell of freedom ring. We thank them for their sacrifice and pray to God above that they may know the greatness of our gratitude and love. 
Because of them, our nation's flag will ever proudly wave, and we are still the home of the free because of them, the brave. We would like to salute all the men and women who have served in every branch of our armed forces. As the orchestra and chorus perform the armed forces medley, we invite those of you in the audience who have served or are currently serving to please stand and join in as your song is presented. was a medley of the different armed forces songs and many of you have parents or grandparents aunts uncles cousins friends that maybe serve in one of the branches of uh, the military many of your parents sent pictures in to me over the past couple of weeks of uh, your loved ones who have who are a veteran who who either are or have served our country and i had the help of some of you with another poem called thank a vet um, and so you're going to see pictures of our very own gca veterans in this next video and the voices of people reading the poems 
are boys and girls whose mom or dad um, either are or have served in the military. Now, there are so many of you who have parents that are in the military. I wasn't able to use everybody, but I did get students from each class that are represented in this video. So um, we're going to listen to Thank a Vet, and then when we're done, we're actually going to hear from another child of a vet. If you're in here or even if you're in your classroom, if your mom or dad has been in the military, will you raise your hand? There's so many of you all in here, and I'm sure there's so many in your classes. And you know what? Even some of our teachers are that way, too. So after the Thank a Vet video, Mrs. Shea, our sixth grade teacher, who is the daughter of a vet, is going to come up and share what it's like to grow up in the house of somebody who is serving in the military. So we'll watch the video now, and then she'll come up. Thank a Vet by William A. Pridell. Many people travel to our shores to escape their world of strife and leave their troubled lands behind to enjoy our way of life. But our way of life in America didn't come easy, so don't forget. If you love what we enjoy today, be sure and think of it. They shed their blood on foreign shores to help keep others free. And many never came back home to their wives and family. Fathers, mothers, sons, and daughters still battle in distant sand. May they never be forgotten. Nor the fight they have at hand. The bells will toll in their honor. As long as we never forget. America is what it is today. Thank God and thank of it. All right, hi you guys, I'm Mrs. Shea, like Miss Cox said, and I was so thankful when she asked me to speak to you all, to you all because like many of you, I grew up um, in the family of someone who served in the military. But the funny thing is, um, when I was your age, I did not know what the word veteran meant, to be honest. I knew it was important, and I knew that we got school off, you know, on Veterans Day, but I didn't know what a veteran was. So I just wanted to make sure that we're super, super clear to you guys that a veteran is someone who has served in the military, okay? So that means that they've been in the Army, Navy, Air Force, Coast Guard, National Guard, Marines, um, all of the above. So uh, I just wanted to show you guys a picture of my favorite soldier, that is my dad, when he was younger. Um, and I come from a, a military family, so it's not just my dad who has served in the Army, but my uncle's serving currently. My, um, my other uncle is in the Navy, and I have a cousin who is also currently serving in the Army. So so um, we just are a huge military family and have so much respect for um, what uh, each, each branch of the military does. Um, a couple of really cool things about growing up in a military family um, is just that you get to live in a lot of different places. You get to have so many experiences. Um, I know, at least in the Army, we moved around a lot. Um, but I know that might not be everybody's experience. So I know some of you, maybe your dad or mom are in the Navy and you have lived here your entire life. But that, you know, my experience was that I got to live in a lot of places. So the first of those, I was born in Auerbach, Germany, and then I lived um, in three different places in Germany. And then I moved to Fort Knox, Kentucky, Charlottesville, Virginia, Fort um, Leavenworth, Kansas, Fort Riley, Kansas, Washington, DC, and then Chesapeake. And I lived in all those different places before I turned 13 years old. So I was um, a lot of your age when I was moving around all that time. And something that that taught me is that our world is very um, temporary. So no matter where we're living, um, our circumstances could change. Um, a lot of times when we moved, it was hard because I had to leave behind close friends, whatever house we lived in. Um, we didn't get to live there anymore. And so there were a lot of things that were constantly changing in my life that were kind of sad for me growing up. Um, you know, if you had like a best friend, someone who you love spending time with, and then you never got to see them again. Uh, that was kind of my experience every two or three years, one, maybe even just after one year of living somewhere. Um, so it's a really cool to get to live in a, in a lot of different places, but it can also be hard. Um, some other really cool things about growing up as a child of a vet is that um, probably your mom or dad has some cool stories 
Like, I loved listening to my dad talk about how he used to jump out of airplanes or, you know, like march through jungles or ride in helicopters. Um, at, like, as a general's aide, he did so many cool things. And then he went to law school and he graduated from Yale and he um, worked in the Pentagon with congressmen. He was just a very um, respected person and he just did a lot of things. Uh, to serve our country. But as he was doing all those things, he made a lot of sacrifices. He had to work a lot. He spent a lot of time away from our family at different times. And I know that that might be some of your experiences too. If your mom or dad are in the Navy and they have to go to sea, um, you might not to get to see them as much as you'd like. So I know that that can be really hard too. So I just wanted to share with you um, this verse. It's 2 Corinthians 5.1. And it says, For we know that the earthly tent we live in uh, if it is destroyed, we have a building from God, an eternal house in heaven. So my challenges to you from that are that if you have a mom or dad who are in the, um, in the service and you miss them a lot because they're gone, or maybe you don't see them as much as you'd like to, um, remember that it's okay to be sad if you miss them and that you have a father in heaven who loves you and he wants to comfort you through those times. Also, thank a veteran um, if you get the chance because they do a lot to keep our country safe. They work really hard. They're so selfless. At times, they even sacrifice their own lives um, to keep us safe. And then the last thing is just to live every day thankful for the eternal home that you have in heaven. This world right here is temporary. Um, it's always going to be changing, and there's nothing really certain in this life. Um, but we know that we have an eternal a father and a, an eternal home in heaven one day that we get to look forward to. So thank you guys for listening about my experience. We're going to finish up chapel with um, our choir coming up and singing um, America the Beautiful. So uh, without, uh, come on up guys. All right, so I have a favor to ask all of y'all. Would you guys stand up and sing with us? Thank you.
start again With just my children and my wife I thank my God above To be living here today Cause the flag still stands for freedom And they can't take that away I'm about to be an American Where at least I know I'm free And I won't forget the man who died And gave that right to me And I'll gladly stand up next to you And defend her still today Cause there ain't no doubt I love this land God bless the USA From the lakes of Minnesota To the hills of Tennessee Across the plains of Texas From sea to shining sea From Detroit down to Houston And New York to L.A. There's pride in every American heart And it's time we stand and say I'm about to be an American Or at least I know I'm free And I won't forget the man who died And gave that right to me And I'll gladly stand up next to you And defend her still today Cause there ain't no doubt I love this land God bless the USA I'm about to be an American Where at least I know I'm free And I won't forget the man who died And gave that right to me And I'll gladly stand up next to you And defend her still today Cause there ain't no doubt I love this land God bless the USA ambassadors as well as our bridge choir you only have a seat um, for being in here and helping us lead in this chapel and I think it's um, always important and always valuable to remember how blessed we are and we certainly are blessed to live in the country that we do we are blessed to have the veterans who have served so many um, over time and I did not grow up in a military family but I married into a military family and when I first got married my husband was in the Navy and his dad had been in the Navy and his grandfather had been in the Navy so um, I know how much I have learned about um, those who serve and the sacrifices they made and how um, how thankful we should be for that so glad that we could do that this morning as we close our chapel will you guys join me in prayer God, we just thank you so much for this country. We thank you for the many veterans that have served, that um, helped give us the freedoms that we do, that have helped um, make America what it is. God, I also want to thank you for all the men and women who are serving now in our country. And Lord, the men and women who will serve in the future, Lord. Um, God, I thank you for those who stand, um, just stand up for us, stand up for our country, our, our rights. And Lord, just make a difference. And um, God, we just love you so much. We thank you for our country. God, I just pray that you will bless our country and bless those that are serving it. It's in Jesus' name that I pray. Amen. All right, guys, thank you so much for being here for chapel today. And thank you for tuning in from your classrooms. Be blessed today, guys.